Okay, okay, what's up, y'all? All right, I want to just make this real quick because you probably, probably just didn't feel like looking it up or whatever the case may be. But I know when I was when I was trying to figure it out, like what all brokers are zero commission trading, and I just really didn't know where to go for that resource. So I'm gonna shout out to Allison Brook who wrote this article. I'm gonna leave a link in the description um, so you can go check out the article. But I'm gonna basically read over this uh, one. Uh, the first one that I'm gonna talk about is Webull. We will obviously they're the um they're a free broker if they, they obviously have zero trading like Robinhood, but um they have far more tools. I've made lots of videos about them, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can create an account with them. You can obviously get your stocks for free. Um if you click the link and you deposit a hundred dollars. So just wanted to make sure you know that I'm gonna leave a link to that um in the top of the description. I'm also gonna leave a link to this article so you can see the rest of the brokers. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down from here. And I'll let you know um, who the other companies are. Okay, so so right now we have Webull. Okay, so you got TD Ameritrade, uh, Trade Zero, Charles Schwab, Ally Invest, E Trade, Interactive Brokers, M One Finance. Okay, First Trade, obviously Robinhood, who started it, uh, Wise Banyan and Metador. Okay. Um, now, Fidelity and Vanguard may, on be, may be on the way. We we're waiting to see what they're going to do. But I know Fidelity is supposed to be doing theirs too soon. So just keep an eye out. I'll let you guys know as soon as that goes. I'm going to get an account with them as well. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to basically get an account with I got an account. So far, I have an account with Webull, TD Ameritrade. I got Charles Schwab. I got an E-Trade. I got uh, the interactive brokers in Robinhood, and as also I have an M1 Finance. All right, so those are the uh, those are the the ones that I have, and and here he even broke it down. Uh, they, they even broke it down to to actually have like a little chart to show you like the differences between these, and so this is a really good resource. Um, for you if you're looking to figure out how much it costs to open up an account and everything like that so this is a really good resource for you it's just been written i'm sure it's going to be updated later uh, and i'm going to leave the link to this article because it's a really good article it gives you like all the information you need to know and i know people are pretty much using youtube more than they're using anything else and probably just wanted to look it up real quick so i just made this video real quick and that's why i even shot it out right quick because this is already well put together, so there's no reason for me to add on to this. <laughs> so here you go. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. I hope you like the video. Hit like, share this with whoever you think is looking for a brokerage account if you don't know. Um, also, I'm already creating accounts with every broker that um, that I like, um, as many as I can. I probably end up with like 10 accounts. So you guys can watch me trade on 10 different accounts because I'm going to get around the PDT rule using the 10 accounts. I'm um, going to put $500 in each one and I'll grow each small account separately. So you guys can watch me do that week after week after week after week. All right, guys. All right. Good talking to you. Peace.